Something that could help you to make a good painting is also perspective. You can also use tonal values for that and some other things like vanishing point and many more that we will talk about in our basic course. Uh, you can see here uh, that I am doing differently the background and the foreground. Everything what is far away is lighter and everything uh, what is closer darker. Also, what is far away is not so clear. It's a little bit, uh, it can be uh, seen through a big mass of air and, and it becomes not on, only lighter but also kind of not so clear. It could become uh, more misty, uh, you, you can say. And everything what is in, um, in front is very sharp. And also you can have more contrast there. And the same rule you can see in some other works, like oh, it's very uh, useful this principle when you paint mountains, uh, because uh, those mountains which are far away, they will be lighter and softer. Those which are closer to us, they will be darker and a little bit more sharp. We will move on with perspective very soon. But first, let me tell you about one event that regularly takes place at Artifact School. This is a set of free online workshops devoted to the foundations of watercolor. It will be extremely useful for beginner painters. And if you have never even lifted up a brush too, this is your chance to cover the main topics necessary to start painting. What is waiting for you during these three days? You will learn the basic information about the necessary supplies for watercolor painting, will understand what to buy first and what can become useless at the beginning. We'll learn basic watercolor techniques and even start practicing them under my guidance. Together with you, we will create a magnificent watercolor sea sunset. I will give you a step-by-step -step instruction. You will get answers for the most common questions that appear among those who want to start painting watercolor. So be sure and click the link in the upper right corner. Or you can also follow the link in the description of this video. Register and see you at the workshops. Mm, the same you can see here, like every new layer of mountains will be darker towards the foreground. Uh, it's not only for the mountains. When you do a uh, cityscape, it could also work quite well, because especially if the weather is a little bit misty and um, uh, the s air is wet, you can see the background much, much lighter than the foreground. Also, you can use for the perspective a vanishing point. You have to find where you have a horizon and all the lines will go to one point where you stand, like where your eyes are on the horizon. So that will point that, that will aim that point there. So that will uh, help you to create a good and convincing perspective. We can have uh, some examples of that uh, principle in our lessons in our different courses. Uh, also here, uh, also the vanishing point on the horizon somewhere there, so all the lines go uh, towards that point. So it uh, and it is just there on the horizon and that uh, helps you to create a uh, quite convincing perspective.